All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in. We've got an exciting one for you today. We are going to taste through Knob Creek 9, 12, 15, and 18. Let's, and we're going to pick out which ones are best. We've got Rob back with us because his, be his palate is on <laughs> point. And so let's just uh, let's jump into it and see what happens. As you may or may not know, Knob Creek comes out of the Jim Beam Distillery. Good old fashioned Jim Beam. So, what normally, for me, is a note that you get on a lot of Jim Beam stuff is gonna be like a peanut shell. Now I've had all these because I had to do all the videos. <laughs> the taste test videos? <laughs> I had to do there all the go. videos that I said I didn't ever have it. And uh, so I've tried them all. There's some that have the peanut and some that don't. Okay. That's, the, but that's my clue. That's your clue. I'll find some peanut-y. But in this, we're not trying to guess, because it's all Jim Beam. We're never going to guess which Jim Beam it, or sorry, it's all Knob Creek. We're never going to guess. So I can save, I spare right. myself yeah. the embarrassment yeah. of not getting and a single one right this I'm time? I'm going to save myself that same embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to, we're just going to taste through these and let you guys know which one is our favorite. We don't know which one is which. Denise, my incredible wife, is the only one that knows. And she'll tell us after we've picked our favorites. So, what side do you want to start on? My left. Your left? We'll go to the right. And we'll go to the right. Here we go. Number one. That's a sweet one right there. I love me some sweet. That's what I love about bourbon. It's just sweet. Wow. So, nine... 9, 12, 12, 15, 15 18. 18. Is so there a significance to those numbers It's of just years? The, the age that they, the minimum age that they were in the barrel before they were. Bottled. Minimum age. Minimum. So, so you could buy a nine year bottle. It could be a 10. It could be a 10. Yeah. Does it say that on the bottle? No. It's just, a, it's just the minimum. A that's, all they, that's all they have to Give do is treat. Tell you. Just, you know what, maybe we throw a little bit of lemon in there. Well, this is delicious. It's uh, it's a light, it sort is. of like proof, if you will. They're all 100. That's the other thing I didn't mention. They're all 100 proof. They're all 100. That's, so the only so it doesn't thing taste like lightning. Right. So there's nothing so that's smooth. different other than the year. Okay. So only the year. Same yep. barrel. No, not the same. Style. So yeah, same. So the same distillery distilled it. Same barrels, whatever. The same process all happened. It's just the age, age. is all different. Okay. All right, moving on. Yep. All right. Ooh, that one has the peanut for me. The first one didn't have much of the peanut. Peanut. It was more the caramel vanilla kind of thing. Mm -hmm. This one's almost sweeter somehow. Sweeter. Not quite as smooth for me. Like this one was really, really smooth. Maybe mm -hmm. it was because of the first drink. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's got an interesting little bite. But it is sweet. Yeah, it's almost got like that more caramel. Wait, when we go across these, are we drinking the same thing? What do you mean? Like is his number yeah. two the same? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. perfect. You guys are going left to right. Yep. Your left or right? Our left to our right. Our left to your right. <laughs> Continuing on. Yes, indeed. Number, number three. three. Ooh, that one's got vanilla all day long. Wow. It's interesting how different, like, basically these three already are. Yep. Yeah, I mean, we got into this one. Yep. But like you said, it's it's from the same distillery. It's just the difference of time yep. in the barrel. That's crazy. So how? I mean, what's going to change that though? So the time in the barrel, it's just more time pulling the flavor out of the barrel. More. So it's, yeah, it's a big risk when it comes to when you get further in age, <clears throat> depending on where it's at in the rick house that it's stored if it's on a lower floor it's not going to experience a lot of those temperature fluctuations so it's aging process could be 
longer without getting that oak tannin like bitter kind of taste to it where if you had those same barrels up on the top floor where you're really getting that big fluctuation in temperature that's where you're going to really draw out those oak tannins and get more of a bitter flavor so they could have i don't know this is just a theory they could have taken the nine year from the top and only had it in there for nine year barreled that one and then the 12 and 15 more from the middle and then the 18 more from the lower floor who knows it's just a theory, but that could be what they did. So not only time a factor, but location. But, yeah, location in the Rick house. And maybe. Oh, yes. Uh, can I ask a question? Of course. Okay, so. You're in this just as much as we are. What, where is the distillery? Like what? what Jim Beam? State. Oh, city? Kentucky. It is, okay. So isn't it that also like the weather plays a really big part in it The too? weather does. The sun, how much yep. sun's coming in. Claremont, Kentucky to be exact. Not sure exactly what that is. Claremont, is. Kentucky. Good old Claremont, you know? Kentucky. Shout out to anybody from Claremont, That's right. Kentucky. That's right. For any of the uh, whiskey snobs out there, this Knob Creek 15 is the batch two. It's not the one. A and knob I'm, snob? Yeah, knob, the knob <laughs> snobs out there. <laughs> All you knob snobs, this is uh, batch two. And people have said that batch two is better than batch one. So when they, so since all these are small batches, right? Or they're, yeah, they're small batches. They're batched together, several barrels in that uh, batch or whatever. And now a small batch isn't defined by any number of barrels. It could be 200 barrels all the way down to two barrels. Wait a minute, so small batch isn't literally there's, a small batch? <laughs> no, there's like no like definition to what a small batch is. So it's, it's whatever, but. What's real anymore? <laughs> Ooh, I like that one. It's interesting you say that because my first uh, reaction to this one is this is my least favorite. I like the smell. I don't like the uh, the taste. is a little bit less yeah. enjoyable. So same with the Knob Creek 18 here. This is batch one. So the anniversary edition where there is now a batch two, which we'll have to get a hold of and do a head to head on. So 18 years getting old. Right, like that's what? Old. It, what that's is, an adult. Like, what's our peak here? Like, when are we retired in in, in bourbon barreling? Like, when it comes to bourbon, we start getting social security checks. Yeah, when it comes to bourbons, like 23, 25 is probably wow, your really max. Where that's like where, like the best Scotch starts. So really? like Scotch from like yeah, like you get the you get the eighteen years plus. That's where because there, it's colder, so it doesn't age like. So there's quickly. not as much uh, right. loss of product yeah. kind of thing or yeah. whatever, loss of flavor. And it's not going in and out of the barrel as quite as much as it does in Kentucky where the temperature fluctuation is greater. So 18 years pretty senior though. We don't know in, if this is 18 or not. <laughs> right, I'm, well, I'm just oh, saying yeah. like in general. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, that's, okay. it's been there for a minute. A hot minute. So again, like four of the same basic product. Right. Right. Just age. Just age. They all four taste completely different. They all yeah. have like a similar anchor flavor. Right. Um, but they have different, like, you know, whatever. I'm going to call it lightning. Like they, yeah. it's all 100 proof. Yep. And not a single one of them feel like they drink the same way. Right. Yeah. That's, um, yeah. That's interesting. I thought the same thing. Like, like one this one is the biggest standout to yep. me. So I wonder, like, is it polarizing, right? Like, is this right. either. Is this either nine or eighteen? Yeah, right. Yeah, and yeah. again, this is just kind of like the way I would yep. game theory optimal approach this. Right. A little GTA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Um But yeah, I mean it's like th this one I felt like had, like you said, it was smooth. This one had probably the most kick. Yep. Ah, it's really good. One might be my favorite here. I think I'm on the same. I'm on the same bandwagon there. Yeah, this one's got a weird zing to it. It's like, it's just as good, but it's a little bit more yeah. kick. Yep. And there's almost a little more, just a slight, it's not like a bad bitterness, but there's just a slight bitterness like, for me. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So it, it kind of gets you right here. Exactly. Like some A1. Mm -hmm. This one's my smoothest so far. Hmm. Yeah, that's ah. good. This one's good. So good. This might have just taken over number two. Yep. 
It's pretty close. I think for me now, right now, if I had to pick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this like a racehorse since yeah. I don't wanna mess pull, up the order. You pull these back. So. So like this one here probably is not my fave. Yeah. I'll take one more sip just to make sure, but that's fair. I'm just gonna take one more sip and take one more sip. Mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna have to help you guys. Yeah. Did I over pour a little bit? Or better to be safe than sorry? Okay. Gosh dang. It's I'm like these sure. are like so these these live in a similar space. Yep. So then it's just flavor for me. And I think it's like it's like this, right? So this is this right. is four, three, two, one. I think you're right. And if I had to guess, see, here's the thing: is I don't know if I like 18 year or right or like I don't you know. Never just I, had it. Right. I don't know. It. I don't know if I like that. So it, it'll be interesting to find out. Do I prefer the flavor of like a younger barrel, mm -hmm. or do I like the more you know, like you said, like uh, potentially more tannins pulled in, like that kind of like. I, like when it, if I were thinking of wine, I would think of like you can kind of taste the dirt, you can taste yep. the earth kind of thing a little bit more in, in a heavy tan of wine. So, anyways, I don't know whether or not these are going to be right longer aged. I know this one tastes very different than the other one, so my guess is that this is going to be a polarizing one, right? Right, right. So, this one is either going to be you think it's either the I think it's either, or the oldest. yeah, I think it's yep. either the youngest or the oldest in this area, yep. And so it'll be interesting to kind of see like if if, if this is like nine eighteen and then I've picked the middle, right? Which is my guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I nine eighteen and I've picked the middle, but I don't know. I agree with it, but we're, we're only right now. Let's go. We have we have the same. We have Please the same. Let me be like first. a little bit right this time. <laughs> we have the same oh, first God, year. That laugh sounded like you're way off, guys. Oh, <laughs> That's the same as Ben too. Oh, no. We have the same first and the same. Oh yeah, yeah. What did you go with? What did you go with? Okay, I so. went with the same, same, same first, zero, same last, same last. These two are switched out for me. Fair. Fair, fair. All right. You like the, you like the peanut less. I think I like a little less. Okay. It was just uh, I don't know. This one felt smoother and I liked it a little sweeter. All right, whiskey wife, lay it on okay. us. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Ooh, whiskey wife, that's a good. That's that a. Is you good. know, that might be a merch drop. TM coming to uh, whiskey wife. Coming to a website near you. Right here, here's the link for whiskey wife right t-shirts. You buy one for your wife. Yep. You buy get one. Get maybe yep. an exclusive promo or something. Right. I don't know. Just get a shirt for yep. your wife. You it's could. right here, whiskey wife. Whiskey wife and bourbon boy. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Five percent come back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah, yep. let's do it. So from left, your left. Our right. left. The first one is the twelve. Oh wow! Okay. So that is the twelve. I, I can see that. I can see that. So that would be one of your. That would be one of your mids. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So the second one is the eighteen year. Dang. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Third one is the 15. Yeah. So we're in the yeah. right, we have the right horses up yeah. front yep. here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This batch two, I heard is. This is 15. Yep. The third, yep, that's 15. 15 and a batch two. And so then this then would be your outlier nine. nine. So you guys did good. Hey. 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 Yes, totally <laughs> redeemed ourselves. <laughs> let's we're, go. We're finally starting to understand bourbon. So, okay, hold on. But let's, look, now that I, I, I kind of know, this is 18. 18. So we were kind of backwards in our in our whatever thinking because these are your wow this is one of your outliers. So this makes sense to me now because it is a little bit more yeah, like that tan and re, like refined yeah. like earthy flavor. Um, this was close. It's like so, it's, I'm surprised how smooth this is for a hundred proof. <laughs> wow, get a, get a taste of it. So just on smoothness alone, I guess it makes sense that this is the 18 versus yeah. this being the 15. Yep. <clears throat> the polarizing was right. Like this was like this, this was significantly different. And the fact like I would have guessed this was the nine. Yep. Right? Like it just seemed really different. So I liked I mean, but like we're talking about three years difference, right? There's right. no reason like 18 doesn't have to be the best, right? Nope. The 15's just, definitely scary. The that's the thing. Sweeter. Yeah, that's the thing with every every one of these bourbons is like everybody's palate is going to be different. So every whoever sits with 
Yeah. Whoever sits here and has these same drinks may have a different order. That's the crazy thing. Yeah, I like the 15. Yeah. I like the 18 I, too, though. I like both of these. Obviously, they're they're my one too. But like, it's interesting. I like a little bit more of that, like lightning. I like yeah. the kick, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, I yeah. want to taste the proof. I don't want it to just be, you know, as whatever. Like, like, oh, it's just the flavors, whatever. Like, oh, can you grab me another Glen Cairn really quick? What? Glen Cairn. That's what these are called. Oh. <laughs> You gotta try this. We'll figure it out eventually. We just we just reviewed this guy. It's only episode two. It's only episode two. This is uh, the latest release, C923, from our friends at Elijah Craig. Where are they? There's one clean one over there, I think. Do you ever just mix 15? Oh, 19? it's over here, is sorry. That a thing? Yeah, you can mix all these. Does that make and it then, does that make it a 33 or oh maybe it does. Not sorry, right, right here. You gotta try this guy. This is where it's at. Ooh. Right, literally right there. Yep, that's the one. I mean, 12, 15, and 18 are great. These are superior products. Oh, for sure. I mean, these are really good. These are like, this one, Knob Creek 9, is like your, your mixer. You pour that, you pour old that fashion. in a old fashioned, you do whatever with it. But then these guys are your sippers. Cause this guy you could get for, you know, thirty bucks. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's, that's reasonable. No, and the, this isn't bad. No, no, it's it not was, bad. It was just completely different than these three. Yep. Like these three are definitely in their own little category. It's interesting that like just three years makes that difference. But anyways, you got more here stuff to do. Yep. So try Our good friends at uh, Elijah Craig are about to, you know, make your palate explode. What is this? I feel like uh, you wanted is, to say something dirty there. But then I did, but I didn't, I didn't say it. This is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. This is the third release for 2023. Okay. So they call it C923. This one is a 13 year set. I was going to say, how many years are we doing? Yep. 13, 13 year set. Now we're talking about months. These guys get really detailed. Mm. <laughs> I feel like that's like saying your kid's like 18 months. <laughs> All right. This gets a little weird. Kid's one. Listen, All it's right. just, if it's over. If the bourbon's it's over six, seven. If it's okay. over six months. Then it's then it's, it's automatically well, rounded it? It up. Seven year or yeah, thirteen? So it's a fourteen year. Oh th yeah, it's a thirteen. It's, it's not thirteen seven. It's thirteen years. It. You know what, Elijah Craig? We're friends, but grow up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Good lord, what? Right? Right? Bah! That's what it does. Yep. You want to know caramel, what? peanut? Yes. <laughs> Sugary everything like uh, Front of the tongue. What is that? What's yeah. causing the front of the tongue? I don't get that with a lot of other well, things. Well, it's probably the 133 proof. Oh, that's <laughs> it's lightning. So <laughs> lightning. A lot of lightning. lightning. Okay For sure It's like have you ever eaten uh, there's like a, a couple of mushrooms where like you eat them and they make your tongue kind of oh, like sure. Oh, like I almost feel like there's like little yep. like pins or That's something like that. That's what this is doing yep. to your tongue. Like yeah. it feels like you can feel it. Yep. It's, it wow. But the flavor, Woo! it's so thick. You could get in trouble with this stuff. Oh, easily. Yeah. It's so. So easy how to much drink. stronger is that? Like when we're talking about like, if I like, is is that the right way to think of it? Yeah. Like if I were to have one of these hundred proof and one of these one thirties. Like, am I having 30% more alcohol? Yep. Like, well, not 30%, it would be 15% more alcohol. Yeah. Take it easy. The proof is half of so, the... So sip it. Yep. That's a, it. that's a sipper. I mean, even after going through all these 100 proofs, you can start to like, oh, oh, but that. Wow. It's on a different level. It's viscous, too. Yep. Very viscous. That's the word of the day, people. Actually, that's going to be the word of our entire channel. I'm going to sneak that into every one of these you episodes. You have to. You have to. I'm going to have to uh, look up some cinnamons. Cinna <laughs> some cinnamons. cinnamons. Some cinnamons. Rare barrel. Rare barrel. <laughs> Whiskey whispers. Boom. So there you have it. Right yeah. there. This we've, was fun. We've picked our favorite. It's uh, currently Batch 2 Knob Creek 15. 15. Here. Yep. Both of our favorite, which is crazy as well that we both picked the same exact thing. And our same exact thing was the worst. These two, whatever, you know, whatever. But 15, that's for the win. Get out there and find it. Let's go. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you like it, comment, 
we appreciate all the help that you guys are giving us to grow this channel. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.